Hello everyone. So today we have a question that's not related to the SAT, but rather more about uh, mean averages. And yeah, so it's kind of a question, you know, related to general knowledge. So not related to any specific part, but then yeah, so let's look how it's done. So the question is, 100 students took a test, so the total number of students is 100. The result of those who secured less than 60 out of 100, which means 60%, marks are given below. So people who scored between 0 to 20 are 16, 20 to 40 is 24, 40 to 60 is 30. And if the average marks of all students, so average of 100 students is equal to 50. Find out the average mark of those who secured more than 60 marks. So we have to find the average of those average grades of those people who secured more than 60. So let's see how that is done. So initially let's suppose that uh, let x uh, be the average of people uh, scoring over uh, 60 and similarly let y be the average I think let's do this let y be the average of people scoring less than 60. So let's divide it into two halves, you know, one over 60 and one under 60. So we know that total number of students is 100 and total number of students uh, scoring below 60 can be taken out from this. So it would be 100 minus whatever is in here. So let's assume the sum of this to be z. So 100 minus z would be the number of uh, would be the number of students who scored over 60, isn't it? So let's erase this. It's just some rough work. So let's go to the next page. So, uh, uh, so total, wait a minute, total people scoring over 60 is equal to 100 minus the number given here. So that would be 100 minus 16 uh, minus 24 minus 30. So that would give us 30. Isn't it? Yeah. So now we have this number. So now let's try and form uh, an equation. So let's mm, assume this. So le let's deal with another. Uh, equation first. So you should remember that average is equal to total marks scored by all students by total number of students. Total number of students. So let's say if you multiply uh, multiply the average with total students what do you get? You get total marks. So let's use this relation and find something. So let's see. I'm writing this equation. I'll explain how I got here. So 30x plus 70y is equal to 5000. Let me explain. So 30 is the number of students who scored over 60 and x is the average. So that way we'll get the total marks of students who scored over 60 so it'll be a sum of uh, marks of 30 different people and similarly y is the uh, average of people scoring below 60 and 70 is the number of people who scored below 60 so 70 times y would give us total marks of students uh, who scored below 60 so that 
is equal to the total marks of all students. So since we have been given that the total uh, number of students is 100 for that case and average is 50, total marks is 50 into 100, that is 5000. So this is the most important equation. If you know how this came, your solution is done. So yeah, so this is one equation. Let's call this to be equation one. Now, other thing. Other thing that you can find with the help of this box is why the average of people scoring less than 60. How? Let's see how that's done. So uh, let's use this color. And yeah, so since I told that average is total marks divided by total students, we can find the total number of marks and we have total number of students that is 70 for this case. That is 100 minus 30. So, let's do this. Y is equal to 16 times 10. I'll explain how this came, don't worry. 30 times 24 plus 30 times 50. This divided by 70. So, let's recall. So average is equal to total marks by 70. And so 16 is the total number of students who scored from 0 to 20. 24 is those number of students who scored between 20 to 40. And 30 similarly of those who scored 40 to 60. So that's the number we have used. 16, 24, and 30, right? Yes. So 16, 24, and 30. And 10, 30, and 50 are the average so the average of 0 to 20 is 10 the average of 0 to 40 is 30 the average of 40 and 60 is 50 so we don't know the exact grades of every student but we can use this formula again this one so that would be oh, I think we erased it right so it would be total marks Right, yeah. So average would be total marks by number of students. So let's say the total marks is 0 plus 20, and then total number of students is 2. So 20 divided by 2 would be 10. Or you, you don't even have to go through that. You just know that the average of 0 and 20 is 10, average of 20 and what is it? Average of 20 and 40 is 30. So that's the midterm, right? So that's considered to be average. And if you do this, you will get y to be 34, right? Yeah, so now the question is done, nearly done. So we have the value of y, we have to find the value of x, we can replace the value of y in equation number one. So let's quickly do that and you have your solution. So, 30x plus 70 times 34 is equal to 5000 uh, and if you work it out you can use a calculator you get x as 87.333 so that is the answer you're looking for so the average of students who scored above 60 is 87.333 and yeah there could be some confusion while solving this one. Uh, you know, what are we supposed to take total marks as? So, uh, you know, uh, that can be a confusion, but then I think you have got it figured out, right? So average is 10 and total number of students is 16. So if you multiply this and this, you get this. So yeah, don't forget this equation, the one that I am dealing with right now this one and rest of it is very easy so i hope you learned how to do this if not please mention in the comment below i'll help you out and hope to see you in my next videos thank you